Hello everybody and welcome, welcome to another UK City Reviews. It's Friday again, I uh, hope you've all had a, a great week. Um, if you're not in the UK, it's been an interesting week, it's been referendum week. Uh, I'm not going to mention uh, either way, but let's just say it's been an interesting week. Um, so yeah, what are we looking at? It's um, Today we're looking at China Clay for Export. Um, now, when I did the <laughs> the run through um, of everything, um, there is no um, sort of pun intended uh, or anything ironic really about that. I've picked China Clay for Oxport. It was just on the to do list uh, of routes that I've not done a review for. I completely forgot it was referendum week, and I filmed most of this uh, the previous weekend. Um, but anyway, so what is it? What's it consist of? Etc. Etc. So. Um, as I've said, it's China Clay for export. Uh, it's basically, I don't know how to describe it really. It's sort of three lines in one route, uh, but not much mileage of each line. Um, it's basically trying to uh, simulate, it's probably not, yeah, simulate, show you the the export of China Clay, the clues in the title, <laughs> uh, uh, from Cornwall. So you've got um, Foey Docks. Um, which is a, a freight-only line. Um, it, it's about six miles long-ish, um, and it goes up to the station as uh, at Lost Withel. Yeah, we'll say Lost Withel. Not sure how to pronounce it, but yeah. Uh, so you've got a station up there uh, and a few sidings. Um, that line um, is actually the main um, passenger services line, uh, the old Great Western uh, down to sort of Penzance. Um, when you join Lost with it, it's obviously if you're coming up from Foy Docks, then you just disappear to the portal. So it's a case of you have to turn around, um, uh, and it takes you down uh, to Par, um, where again that that line would continue, but again you just end up at a portal. Um, but if you go off to kind of like a another line uh, off. Uh, you've probably seen it in the in the map previous we went on. Uh, there's sort of a large um, sort of freight type holding area, uh, and that line um, off there um, is the the line up to Newquay. Um, and I think, uh, if my notes tell me rightly, uh, it terminates its at Bug. Um, so yeah, there's. Um, it, it, it's hard to describe because it's hard to get into this. There's it, the scenarios that I've played. In fact, let, let's talk about the scenarios first. So, what, what do you get? So, well, you get uh, th this Cornish route line that's sort of talking about taking um, clay from one point to the docks for export. That's basically the the, the whole point of this scenario pack. Um, it's set off, as I said, it, on the Great Western Main Line. It's set actually in B or Blue um, livery in that sort of time, so um, what 1980s, something like that. Um, and it is, it covers about 20 miles of route, um, albeit probably a bit of a faff, if I'm being honest, because like I said, six miles from Foley Docks up to Lost Withal is one line but you then got to stop maybe take the engine run to the other end and then drive further down and etc etc um so you get about 20 miles of route you get uh china clay wagons uh so clay hoods on cdas uh there's be all locals and coaches i'm just reading off what it says on steam here um but if you think about it that lot is just in the european asset pack so it's class 37, class 47, class 43 HST in BR Blue and Intercity. Uh, yeah, it, it's nothing in terms of rolling stock we haven't seen uh, before in a lot of things. Uh, you get seven scenarios. Um, I'm trying to remember the split. Um, I think it's three in, um, sorry, four in Korea and three in, not free roam, but the, the other way you can. Uh, run them um, 
and that's about it. It's it looks really really nice. You can see it now. It it's it feels good. The 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 route down to Foley Docks is quite picturesque. In fact, cause everybody says it's uh, uh, the the most picturesque um, non passenger route um, in the UK. Um, yeah, it, it looks great. I mean, you can see here, so it's great foliage, there's great depth in colour. Um, if, you, if I want to say stood at the side of the line, that's not right. Place the camera at the side of the line. Um, then it is actually a really, really um, detailed looking route. Uh, feels really good. Um, but the problem you get with it is that playability piece that I sort of talk about. So it's it's a difficult route to like. It's it's obviously factual, and you know if you Google map it, you can you can see what they've modelled it on, and it looks really good. Um, from a computer games point of view, it's quite a hard route to love. Um, like I said, I think you know, I think there's two levels of boring. That's the right word to say. You know, uh, some of the um, express routes um, are kind of like, oh, well, you set speed limit, whatever, and you just drive, and it's one hundred and twenty-five mile an hour non-stop for seventy miles. Ooh, great! You know, where's the challenge? There's hardly any stations, etc. Um, this, it, being that each section, so from the docks up to uh, Lost Withal is about six miles, and then it's the same going back, and then you've got a bit more going. Uh, is it to Bule, uh, Bugle? Um, it, it's it's difficult to get into because you start going and you're like, all right, twenty minutes, right, I'm done. Uh, and yeah, it's slow because some of this bit is ten mile an hour, twenty mile an hour, thirty mile an hour. It takes half an hour, but. Uh, there's not that sort of detail stuff. One of the scenarios I played is red on the challenge bar, and it's not that uh, being that they, they can't put any um, sort of traffic in really, and, and that lot. It's yeah, it, it's a difficult one to like from a a games player point of view. Let's word it that way. Um, what else do you get with it? Well, it's it's fourteen ninety nine in the shop at the moment. In fact, I've just looked on the Steam store. There's a sale going on. There's fifty percent off. You can get it for seven forty nine. Ooh, Steam sale! I need to have a look and see what I can get cheap. Um, but yeah, it, it's usually fourteen ninety nine. I'm going to say fourteen ninety nine, uh, just in case people watch this in six months' time and there isn't a sale on. Um, so at seven forty nine, would I buy it? Yeah, probably. And I think I actually did buy it in a Steam sale. Uh, at that sort of price, would I buy it at fifteen ninety nine? That's a difficult question. Obviously, our root add-on packs are normally twenty five pound, and if it's twenty five pound, you definitely wouldn't buy it. It's twenty miles, and you don't get any new locals or anything like that. Would you buy it at twenty pounds? Probably not. Would you buy it at fourteen ninety nine? I don't know. Um, I, I, me personally, wouldn't. Um, like I said, it's it's a difficult route to get into. Um, the the scenarios are okay, um, but there's not that much variety with it. I think once you've played a couple of these scenarios, um, it's very much copy and paste um, with a little bit of change in it, but there's very little. Uh, really, to get your teeth into seven forty nine, I think it's all right. You know, if if you're uh, if you like train simulator, you're a bit of a completionist. Um, then seven forty nine, I I think is all right. But the the general retail price, I, I find this a a hard route to like. Um, so yeah, that's it, it's obviously quite a brief review because it's quite a small pack. <laughs> I can't talk about it in that much detail. There's there's no. Um, New locos or anything like that. Um, it, it's much for much just from that point of view, um, and that's what it is. So I, um, I hope you've enjoyed the review. Um, it's another negative one I've done back to back, and and that's not, um, 
not intentional. Um, I, I hope to have a, a more enthusiastic one for you guys next week. Um, but as usual, I hope you found this informative. Um, if you like it, like it. If you subscribe, subscribe. It lets me know that you guys like what you're hearing and want to hear more of it. Um, and I hope to see you in a week's time uh, for another review. So take care, have a great weekend, uh, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.